There's been a massive fire reported at J.P. Morgan's Gold Vault in downtown New York. Um, there are several videos out there on the web. You can see anywhere from 20 to 50 fire trucks all lined up and down Broad Street. And the funny thing is, is that there's no sign of fire or smoke. And another thing that you'll notice, um, just do a search for J.P. Morgan Fire, uh, Vault Fire, and you'll, the videos will come up and you'll see there's no mainstream media coverage on this either. Now, if you recall, on Friday, J.P. Morgan came out and announced that their gold reserves were down by 66%. This is customer's gold, I guess, being um, withdrawn from their vault, which leaves them with, I think the figure was 42,000 ounces of physical gold in their vaults with an outstanding uh, fulfillment orders of five, over 500,000 ounces. Hmm. Very convenient that this fire just broke out, this fire with no smoke, no flames, no nothing. Oh, and also, where is the largest storage facility for people to store their quote-unquote physical gold? Oh, yeah, that's J.P. Morgan. So, in, say, if I buy a 1,000 ounces of silver... I make the transaction, they come back and offer me, hey, we'll store your, store your silver gold um, in our facility so you don't have to take physical possession and we'll give you this piece of paper receipt that says that we have your physical gold in our vaults and you can come and get it anytime you want. Right. Now if those paper contracts were all stole down there, um, were all stored down there as well, this could be a problem. Another question I have is, how does a vault catch fire? I mean, they're not saying that the upper levels of this building, a uh, fire broke out in the upper levels and spread to the basement. No, they're saying that this fire started in a vault. Now, what are vaults typ typically constructed of? Concrete, steel, and what was this one storing? Metal. I mean, what burst into flames down there? How do you start a vi fire in a vault? Well, I guess if you throw some gasoline on it, that'd help. It should be very interesting to hear on Monday how the mainstream media spins this and just what type of an effect it's going to have on people who are holding gold contracts in specifically, but gold, probably gold and silver as well. be very interesting to see what the reports come out on Monday. And it's also interesting to note that some reports have it as high as J.P. Morgan sold 60 times the amount of gold on the planet, both above ground and in ground, in these forms of paper gold or GLD certificates. Thank you for watching.